It's about time when stories get out about how obsessed kids are with their parents' tablets and phones, and that one time a kid spent $1,500 on level ups in 10 minutes. It's hard to believe that it took this long for Google to give tablet owners restricted user profiles. In Android 4.2, Google gave us multiple user profiles, granting each user a personalized interface, settings, and apps, independent of anyone else using that tablet. Now in Android 4.3, the tablet owner earns greater reign over these profiles. Mothers and fathers rejoice. You can now shut out access to apps, app-specific features, and even disable in-app purchases. Using the feature is simple enough. Head to Settings, Users, Add User, or Profile. Then choose Respect Restricted Profile. If you haven't already, you'll be asked to secure the lock screen. At the top, tap New Profile to add a user photo and rename the account. Finally, it's time to lay down the law. Using the sliders on the right, enable or disable access to apps. You'll notice that in some cases there's a settings icon off to the right of an app, and tap it to get dive deeper into app-specific settings. But wait, there's a catch. Restricted user profiles could potentially put parents at ease, but it's up to the developers to integrate the API. That's right, developers have complete control over whether or not its app features can be restricted from users. For instance, one game might allow the tablet owner to disable in-app purchases, while another does not simply because they did not integrate the feature. Such poor implementation could mean very few apps accommodating the new feature, as it demands extra work on the developer's end for little to no return. Right now, Google hasn't articulated any advantage to devs who get on board with the restricted profiles, leaving them with little motivation to opt in. In this case, Google probably should have followed Apple's lead. With iOS, device owners have complete control over app-related permissions, whether or not the developer opts in. Restrictions are built into the platform, not the apps. While it's very possible that Google will work closely with partners and popular developers to implement this new standard, don't expect these app-specific restrictions to be ubiquitous among consumer-grade apps anytime soon. Thanks for watching this video. Let me know your feelings about this in the comments below, and thanks for watching.